Happy Monday. I hope you enjoyed yesterday, Sunday, and today. Nice 23 degrees because things are a change. And in fact, almost a complete 180 tomorrow. Uh, right around 2, 3 in the morning, we'll get into some light showers right there. It looks like those showers will still be in place through the morning commute. Could even be moderate at times. So some ponding and pooling is possible out on those roadways tomorrow morning. Please leave yourself extra time. Throughout the afternoon, we'll get into some lighter showers. So it does start to taper off, but we're going to hang on to the cloud overnight and into Wednesday morning. It's low cloud stratus cloud and i think we'll even get some drizzle out of that so wednesday morning watch for drizzle even some fog patches which could impact visibility to start and right here the model is kind of breaking up the cloud wednesday afternoon if we can get some sunny breaks we could get up to 18 degrees we don't get the sunny breaks we'll likely hold it about 16 degrees on wednesday rainfall is uh, it's a good soaker it's about 10 to 15 millimeters worth some areas could see up to 20 millimeters but again most of this it's not so much the amount but the time within which that amount falls and most of this will be falling throughout the morning tomorrow we've got 22 degrees record time here is about 5 40 p.m but this little patch of uh, green that you're seeing here these are sort of like a cool pocket that's what's going to be over us tomorrow and when i say cool man oh man we're waking up to 10 degrees watch what happens throughout the morning we will actually continue to fall back to about eight or nine just before lunch and then rise to about 11 or 12 degrees. These temperatures are well below the seasonal high of 21 degrees. And it's uh, gonna feel more like mid-April rather than almost June, especially with that cool east wind. And there's that 18 degrees if we can get those sunny breaks on Wednesday. So the official forecast here, it's rain, pack the umbrella, cool northeast wind, and again, drizzle tomorrow late afternoon and into the evening. If we only make it to 12 degrees, we are going to come very close to potentially being one of the coolest May 28ths on record at Pearson. The coolest May 28th, you go back to 1968 when we hit 11.1 degrees. 1984, it was 12.3. This is definitely one temperature record we do not want to break.